This is the Nun's Cave outside Carseg, and uh, it's apparently the place where nuns from the Monastery of Iona fleed after the Reformation when the Abbey was being ransacked and hid a lot of the treasures from the Abbey. Uh, and also, immediately outside of it, there's a sort of quarried area. That's where a lot of the stone came from. It was made for the grave slabs in Iona uh, and was used as recently as 1875 when the abbey was being uh, refurbished. On the walls, there's lots of markings, some of them more modern, some of them more modern graffiti, uh, but others apparently date from the 8th to 9th century. There's crosses on the walls. Let's see if I can find one here. Small crosses here and there that apparently date from about 1100, 1200 years ago. And immediately outside we have the beauty of the bay. It's a very uh, remote and sheltered place. You can see it as a hiding place, a big cave. Uh, let's take you out, show you what lies outside. Outside we have the the sound and the water. I guess in any pilgrim journey there are meant to be moments of tiredness and uh, exhaustion. Uh, and I've certainly just had one of those coming up from the nun's cave down by the Rosso Mull down at the foot of the cliffs. I've then climbed up what's called the nun's pass where they used to come to from Iona but there was nothing serene or sanctified about it. It was a real slog up a very steep slope. I'm just thankful to be at the top now and to rest uh, and to look out.